So in my last video, I showed you guys how to create this quiz. This was a quiz for a CPA offer. Okay. Now the thing about quizzes is that you can run them on pretty much anything. You don't have to do it only on CPA offers. You can also do it on affiliate offers or affiliate marketing offers from ClickBank, Digiso24, JVZoo, Warrior Plus. Okay. Any other affiliate network. All right. Now I'm going to show you in today's video how to promote this using paid ads, using Google ads. Okay. So we're going to run a Google ads campaign and I'm also going to show you how to do it on Microsoft ads campaign. Okay, so this is just a continuation of the previous video. So you're going to come over to Google. Okay, you're going to go to Google Ads. So just type here ads.google.com or just go to Google itself and type Google Ads. It should direct you to here. If you don't have a, a, an account, you can simply create one. But if you have a Gmail account, it should be very easy to sign up. Right, so once you've signed up, you'll be taken to this dashboard. This is your overview. So you're going to click on new campaign. All right, so from here, you're going to be asked to choose your objective. So we're going to go with website traffic because we want to direct people to our website or our landing page. We actually created a squeeze page. Okay, if you remember on the previous video, we created a squeeze page which we can use to run this ad. Okay, so initially, this is where we want to direct our visitors. Okay, before they go to the quiz, so they're going to uh get access to this they're going to enter the name and email they're going to click on let's go which is going to take them to this form over here to this quiz okay so we're going to click on website traffic from there just click on continue then you'll have select a campaign type so the one that you want is such a, this is one that's going to enable you to reach customers who are interested in the product or service with text so this is basically just the normal advertising format of google okay so by default you want this one here so you're going to click on that and then click on continue okay so just ignore this so here you're going to enter your campaign name right so we're going to call this visa gift card click on continue and here we're going to set our budget so this is going to be our daily daily budget campaign or daily budget for this campaign so here you can start with whatever it is that you are able to afford in a monthly basis but i recommend between five to ten dollars if you go anything lower below five i don't think google will accept although i've never tried but you have to start between five and ten dollars okay so i'm going to place mine at ten dollars but just keep in mind the higher your budget the more our data google is going to gather for you the more it's going to reach out to more people which means more traffic for you, which means more conversions. Okay, so the way you're able to make the thousand dollar in a month is if you have a higher budget. Okay, so next you have your bidding over here. So it's going to ask you what do you want to focus on? Of course, you want conversions. So mine, I think it's set to conversions before because I've run an ad here. But if you don't see this, you want to set it to conversions because that is the end goal. Okay, you want conversions for your ad okay or for your campaign so once you're done with that you're going to scroll down over here you're just going to click on next here you have your campaign settings okay so this is basically telling you to reach the right people start by defining key settings for a campaign so what you want to select um, is this one here because this is just the default the default format of google ads so this is one that's going to appear near google search results and other google sites when people search for you know terms that are relevant to your keywords okay so you want to leave this unchecked maybe you want to leave this unchecked because this is going to uh, make you spend more and it's not really necessary this is just ways for google to you know increase your budget but you don't need to uh, use this so just uncheck this and leave this unchecked okay then scroll down here you uh, you have a locations so remember our ad was a us based ad it was a us based offer cpa offer so we're going to click on enter another location we want to select united states all right so always keep in mind uh about the ad that you're promoting okay or the campaign that you're promoting if your ad is a uh, us based or uk based or australia or whatever country for that matter uh, you want to select another location so i'm going to enter here uh, united states okay i'm going to click on target all right so i'm going to scroll down here i'm done with that one we have languages leave just leave uh, just leave it at english because that's the default and then you have audience segments so audience segments allows you to create a particular audience for your ad so what we're going to do here we're going to select our audience so for this offer in particular it was a gift card so um maybe we can place it on shoppers okay people are willing to shop people who are willing to spend um lifestyle 
Uh, let me see. Soccer tickets. Um, not really. Okay. Now I don't really use this seg this uh, this segment that much, but I'm just going to leave it at shoppers. So I'm just going to scroll down. Okay, we're going to go to the next section. I'm going to click on next. So here we have our group one. We're going to give this a name again. So I'll just add for Visa gift card. All right, so we're going to scroll down here. Now next section we have the keywords. So here's where we're going to enter our keywords. All right. And uh, one thing that you need to know if you've never used Google Ads, you want to use uh, Google have their own platform, okay, which is called Keyword Planner. All right, it's the one that I recommend because it's free and it's, you get it directly from Google because Google knows exactly what people are typing. So, in order to use it, you're going to click on this search, then you're going to see Keyword Planner here. So, you're going to open it in a new tab, you're going to right click and open the link in a new tab which will take you to a page that looks like this. You're going to click on discover new keywords and then from here you're going to deselect your country. Okay, so you're going to click on this. If you're not in the United States, because remember we are targeting United States, uh, even in the United States you can just leave it, but I'm in Kenya so I'm going to deselect that and then I'm going to select, I'm going to type here United States. Okay, I'm going to click on target. And then I'm going to click on save and then now from here I can type my keywords okay so the offer is about visa gift cards so I'm just going to type here visa gift cards and I'm going to click on get results so what you have here if you've never seen uh, the Google keyword planner the way it works what you have here is the keywords okay these are the keywords that you're looking for these are the search terms and then here you have your average monthly searches here you have your three month change here you have your yoy change and then here you have a competition now what you want to focus on is competition and your monthly uh, average searches all right so the search term visa gift card itself has uh, between 100k to 1 million and it has a high competition okay now when you're doing google ads you want actually high competition because this basically means that there are so many people who are running this which also means success rate is high because there are so many people who are already running not really running but who are using this search term okay maybe it could be in ads or maybe it could be in articles or blogs all right so, so this is a really good search term because it has, it has a high monthly search and the competition is also high okay so we're going to copy this then we're going to come back to our ad okay we're going to paste it there all right now let's look for another keyword with the high monthly search and the high competition vanilla gift card um okay, i'm not really sure what that is uh, we have vanilla prepaid vanilla gift um okay let me what i'm going to do i'm just going to type here a gift card let me search for the term gift card itself get results all right so this is better we have a uh, keyword with high competition and also with high monthly searches so we can now select uh, roblox of gift card i'm going to copy that Paste it there, come back here. Uh, we have Amazon gift card. Copy that. Control V. Okay, let's see another one. We have Visa gift card. Okay, we already used that. Uh, this one is Steam gift card. We have Apple gift card. Competition is also high with high monthly search. All right, Control V. So these are just search terms, okay? Uh, what Google is going to do, it's going to use this search term to direct to people who have actually typed using these search terms, okay? So let's copy a few more. Let me get this one here. Google Play gift card. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave it at that. But what you want to do, you want to fill this whole section because remember the more uh, keywords or the more search terms you use, the higher chance of Google reaching more people. Okay. And another way that you can get more uh, more keywords is that if you go to Google, you can just come over here and type, you know, gift cards. And then right below here, they usually have a suggestions. Okay. And let me see. Okay. This one's over here. You can use, these are search terms that people have recently searched. So you can use these search terms as well. Gift cards online, gift cards in Kenya, gift cards free type of gift cards. Okay. So you can use these suggested search terms as well. Now, once you're done with that, you're going to scroll down here. Now, here you have your ads. Okay, so here's where we're going to place our final URL. 
okay so here we're going to place the squeeze page okay or the landing page okay so we're going to come over here we're going to collect okay our squeeze page link we're going to come back over here and we're going to paste our squeeze page over there right now what you can do you can actually rename this uh, because if you see this is actually going to show it's going to show system io now if you don't want it to show system i you can actually change this name by using bitly bitly shortener okay so to be able to do that just go over here to bitly so that's app.bitly.com just make sure you create an account okay in order to shorten it you have to create an account so what you're going to do you're going to click on create okay and then you just paste your link over here okay and then what you're going to do you're going to click on create over here all right now what you can do you can actually customize this part over here beginning from the slash okay this second half okay you can customize this all right so we can call this uh visa gift card but that i'm pretty sure it's been taken all right so this has not been taken because i included a z instead of an s so this one is available so this is going to look like so what you can do you can copy this by clicking on copy and then come back over here to your ad and then you replace your link okay so as you can see over here it's going to say bitly okay so it will show the full link but it's going to say bitly all right so it's all up to you if you don't want bitly and you want system IE, you can just leave it like that so here uh, we have uh, we're going to skip the display path we have headlines now the good thing about google uh, is that it gives you you know suggested headlines and it's going to pick these headlines from what you've used on your keyword so this is just the basic these are basically the keywords that we used all right but we don't want to use this because these are gift cards for um for other companies and what we really want is just for visa okay so what we can do here we're going to enter our first headline okay so i'm going to just going to say this visa gift card visa gift card and then here we have a second headline let me do this uh, let me retype this again okay remove that and then now here you can say maybe win a visa gift card uh, we're going to enter one more all right so something like that what you want to do you want to avoid using the word free okay because google doesn't like that this advertising platform don't really like the word free so i'm going to leave it with those uh, three headlines now if you go up here you have preview okay so this is going to look like right so google is going to keep shuffling it like this and then now you're going to scroll down here we're going to enter our description so i'm going to type here something like this Okay, now you have a character limit here so i'm still remaining with some characters to fill this up so you're going to enter about three more descriptions okay now again to just to check on your preview you're going to come back up here you're going to see how it's going to look like so just make sure you enter as much information on your description as possible okay now once you're done you're going to click on done and then you're going to click on next so from here you're pretty much done with your ad you don't really need to uh, include a site link extension because this is usually for you know uh, big websites maybe if you have a blog with multiple pages because site link because that's what site link does okay it it allows you to link to different pages on your website so we don't really need any of this so what you're going to do you're going to click on next so from here it's going to tell you the errors that you need to fix okay so i guess the reason why it's telling me this is because of my uh, description okay if I, if I scroll down here we actually had description as the last step so once you've completed your errors just click on fix it and then you'll be able to click on run campaign okay so google is going to review your campaign it's going to take about uh, about uh, 12 to 24 hours before they approve it all right so that is how we run a google ad campaign now next we're going to run a microsoft bing ads campaign okay it's no longer called bing ads it's called microsoft so we're going to run a microsoft ad okay so concept is just the same you want to sign up uh, if you don't have a microsoft ads campaign you're going to have to create one it's just a normal procedure once you've done that you're going to be directed to this page okay so as you can see it's kind of similar to google so what you're going to do you're going to click on create then here you're going to be asked what's the goal of this campaign okay so you have visits to my website visits to my business location now what you want is this okay uh conversions in my website so going to click on that then it's going to ask you what kind of ads do you want to run for this campaign 
so you have search ads and you have audience ads so uh, here you can select between these two uh, what i would go for is the audience ads because as you can see it says here the audience ads appears to people on the microsoft audience network based on who they are interested in okay so this is going to target people who are interested in visa or visa gift cards or gift cards and such things okay so i would enable this one and then click on next so from here you can now set up your the rest of your ad we're going to enter our ad name campaign name so again i'm going to call this a visa okay and then we have our budget okay so just like um, google i'm going to spend ten dollars per day so i'm going to click on save and go to the next step so here we have ad group audience and targets uh, i'm going to enter again the visa group ad name okay and then from here you're going to be asked uh, who do you want to target for this group so you can select any of these combinations so we have locations people uh, this is going to show the ad to people in specific locations show ads to people in specific age ranges we have also gender we have audience we have company industry and job function so what you want or for at least this offer we want uh, people who are in the u.s so location is going to be relevant for this category okay so we're going to click on that and then we're going to scroll down here okay we're going to select united states now again if your country is not here you're going to click on available countries you're going to select this okay so i'm going to click on save and go to the next step now next we have ads and then we have ad image now if you want to place an image you're going to click on this okay but i'm going to skip this step I'm, uh, I'm not going to include an image so here i'm going to place my url okay i'm going to place the link of this quiz page okay so again i'm going to come back here okay i'm going to click on this link over here Going to copy that come back to microsoft ads and then i'm going to paste it right there okay or you can use a bitly shortener all right and then we have short headline so again just like google you're going to enter your headline over here okay so let me just quickly rush this all right so i've just filled this place for quickly so we had a short a short headline over here we have a longer headline here and then we have our ad text okay so this is just like the description these two act as the description okay so we have our business name i'm just going to call this um maybe visa squeeze page okay and then we have mobile url so just ignore that and ignore the rest of this as well and then click on save and go to the next step you can click on either this or this so i'm going to click on save and go to the next step okay so it's asking me to add an image so i'm just going to quickly add an image over here and i'm going to click on upload image and then i'm going to click on a browse and i'm going to select my image i'm just going to use the image the visa image that i used on my previous video which is this one so once you're done with that you're just going to scroll down here and then now you can click on save and go and then here you have finally your bids your budget and bids okay you have a daily budget there and then here you have your default bid so just leave it at default okay you don't really want to change this if you're not really sure so once you're done just going to click on save all right so once you're done you're going to get this message campaign created but your account is on hold now mine is on hold because i have i have not deposited any funds okay if i click on this fix it it's going to take me over here it's going to take me to this page okay so it's telling me my account is on hold because either payments payments have been declined by a financial institution okay so i don't really have money in this account yet so make sure you do that and this is the reason okay this is actually the error over here all right so you're pretty much done with your campaign once you've done that and this is how you would run ads on both google and microsoft so that's going to do it guys for this video i hope this helped you now you can run both google and microsoft ads all right so that's it thanks for watching and i will see you on the next one